to make a nice U. The U should be high enough so that you can go above the ligamentum flavum and you automatically have the ligamentum flavum disinserted. That's a little bit flat. I like mine better. Can you see it okay, Rod? Okay. Yeah, we can see it. That looks great. And we're going to do a with a high-speed burr under irrigation, which we don't have right now here. Brooks, do the same thing. And this gives us access to the spinal canal. We're preserving the interspinous ligaments and the facet capsules are totally spared. And so we will now, again, we do this under steady irrigation so that the high-speed burr doesn't get gummed up. Now, I'll critique you a little bit here. Brooks has not done this with me before. He's just started his fellowship. We want to make the lateral cut perpendicular, so we're straight down on the superticular process. The upper cut, we can undercut a little bit. And this allows us, literally in one fell swoop, to take out the ligamentum flavor and everything. This allows us to now see I gotta critique myself also. This now allows us to see the superarticular process. So I'm gonna just change this angle a little bit. We have a lot of lordosis here. So here's the superarticular process now. And again, the interspinous ligament uh, in this pretend model is totally intact. This is the second cut we're gonna do for a simple stenosis decompression. It's the J cut. Vertical cut along the medial superior border of the superarticular process and a nice little arch right out here. And the same here, and again, so vertical cut and a horizontal cut. And Brooks is elegantly sucking this into the spinal canal. So you've mapped that out. You want to stay straight there. Take the entire superior medial half off. Ready? Yep. Now, what have we accomplished with this? What do we want to have? We want to have the lateral recess opened up. And we want to have access to the nerve roots above and below. And the lateral wall of our decompression is the pedicle. So we have a pedicle here now. We can easily see the nerve roots above and below. The main thing to cut out is the so-called junction of ligamentum flavum and facet capsule, which is usually hypertrophied, which bars entrance into your nerve root. So this is the late, great Henry Bowman's uh, major um, lumbar spine decompressionologist. So you have to have the DRGs clean. If you want to do a foraminotomy, do you have a kerosene, please? If you need to do a true foraminotomy, you can, with the ligament intact, imagine my finger is the ligament, nicely tunnel under this here, and with the kerosene closed, go underneath here, and look, Brooks, what you left. All this stuff was left behind. I'm turning the kerosene southbound, so the backside of the kerosen is against the shoulder of the nerve root, so I'm never in risk of pulling a nerve root out. That's something we absolutely don't want to do. It's a very controlled full foraminotomy. It's a crossover thing. So just pretend you're doing this, Brooks. Close the kerosen, point it southbound, flat angle, and you come right this, and your partner will watch the dural sac, and you can do a wide foraminotomy. Not necessary on my side because I already did this. That's correct. Great. Thank you. Good answer. <laughs> so. U-shaped cuts, J-shaped cuts, the ligaments stay intact, very effective. Let's just say we have to do, and we're going to do this in a cadaver in a second, a full laminectomy, for instance, for an osteotomy. Here, we have a great cut, the Texas T-cut, also Tennessee T-cut, but in honor of Jack Ziegler, I call that the Texas T-cut. What are we going to do here? This allows us a full laminectomy. We're going to do a T-cut vertical along the interspinous line and horizontally, or semi-horizontal, through the pars interticularis. To carve this out, then, 
we'll do a lazy C cut. So this is a C laying down like this. And we'll nibble off this next lower spinous process because we've decided we'll do an osteotomy. We're going, uh, going to complete that then with a W cut. The W cut will give us a full facetectomy. And so this is our W cut in a second. So Texas T cut. Are you ready, Brooks? You've ready. never done this before? I'm not. The nice thing about these letters is it's highly reproducible and easily identifiable. Irrigation coming. Right. Vertical. What are you going to do first? Pars cut? OK, Pars you're going to watch yeah. the root below so there's no plunging. Ready? OK, right. here you go. Oh. Now vertical cut. And this cut here. On. And now, he already stole the thunder. We're going to put a spreader in and pop the lamina open. This is a very atraumatic move. In this case, now we want to do our W cut to fulfill our facetectomy, literally a pedicle to pedicle resection. Going to flatten out the superticular processes, the big osteophytes. The goal here is again a pedicle to pedicle decompression. Just to show you the W again, a horizontal cut through the tip of the superticular process, a vertical cut along 50% of the articular surface coming along here. This opens up the lateral recess, opens up the canal. You want to angle this down a little bit and you come across here. Perfect. Ready, Brooks? Ready. Ready. On. Remember the no slipping, no sliding rule, right, Brooks? Correct. You'll always remember that now. Tell us about your breathing. Nice Calm, and controlled. Nice and controlled. Yes. Good. Nice diaphragm breathing, right? Correct. No pressing. No. And just like you're never pressing on your Midas or your... High speed burr, right? Right. Smooth, slow strokes. And a steady irrigation prevents the burr from getting gummed up. And hopefully, if you get close to dura, prevents any thermal damage to your neural elements. Nice little chamfer cut there. And go all the way through now into the spinal canal. Sometimes you get a little bit into the pedicle, but you just medialize a little bit, Brooks. There you go. And now amputate the tip of the superficial process. Again, straight across the top of the pedicle. Excellent. And what have we accomplished? Exiting nerve roots, exiting foramina fully opened. Pedicles, pedicles are open. Pedicle, pedicle. Roots below can be easily palpated. Ligamentum flavum has been removed. This is smoothed out, and again, we would now, but in the interest of time, we're not going to do that, uh, cut out this inferior arch so we have a beautiful passage space and we can easily probe the neural canal. And we have the preparations made, for instance, for not just a further uh, inner body fusion or something, but even osteotomy, as we will show.